Good afternoon, everyone. It is Saturday, April 24th, 2021. I'm Dash. This is Dash Flippin'. I'm in Dallas, Texas. This is my Saturday garage sale and thrift store haul video. I'm going to have to split it into two parts because I got a lot of stuff. So first off, I got this Orbit um, thingy. I didn't know what it was. It's for sprinklers. It's a, it's a control for sprinklers. Uh, I think I paid a dollar for it, and they're selling, like, the cord alone was selling for 17 bucks. So I'm hope, hoping I can get 40 bucks out of this little guy. Um, the next thing I got at an estate sale, a couple of um, pre-2000s, um, or around 2000-ish, license plates. The Lone Star State. I think it was a, for a farm truck, because it says truck on it. It's pretty cool. Um... I got a lot of these things. They're Spode. These are glasses. They are made in New Jersey. They were English, British, whatever. Um, oh, everything in here smells like smoke. I got a shovel, which I'm not going to show you because it's dirty. I got this for 75 cents. It is a duck stopper for a decanter. I love ducks. I love alcohol, or bourbon at least. Not all, not all alcohol is the same. But yeah, it's a duck. Really cool. It's brass. Ugh, it smells like smoke. I gotta put that in dishwasher or something. I got this little Ronald the McDonald toy. I don't even know. 2011 it says. Oh, he looks older than that, but he's cool. Put him in the pool or something. Let him kind of hang out. I bought an entire box. Oh, this bag is dead. Just kill it. It's cold. Well, I got this first, so I'll grab that in a second. This is a Fuji videotape for VHS. It is brand new in the pack. And it also smells like a, an old woman that smokes a lot. But I paid, I think, I, actually, it was a part of a bundle. I paid $2 for this. It's another Spode um, Christmas tray thing. Spode. Made New Jersey. I got another Spode. Um, it's a little wall hanger, I guess. Maybe it's not spode. I got suckered into it. It's okay. Um, all that stuff sells pretty good. Um, especially around Christmas time. I bought an entire box. It's falling apart of cassettes. And I've been watching Commonwealth Picker. And of course I don't have an antique booth. But he says he sells them for a dollar a piece. I scanned a couple that were worth like four or five bucks. Um, and I think the rest of them I'm just going to do like a lot. I got this Elton John Christmas CD too, but like the entire box, like there's Bruce Springsteen, born in the USA. There's an Elvis one. There's two I think I can sell for maybe 20 bucks. The Marlboro Country Music, the best of Marlboro stuff. There's two set. It's two of those, like a set. Yeah, Mannheim Steamroller. I, I might listen to these. I got a car. I, I got a car with a tape player. Ah. Uh, all right, let's see what else I got. This one kind of made me mad because I paid $5 for... Oh, yeah, there it goes. They gave you these really cool Coca-Cola bags, but the one that he gave me, and I put all my stuff in it, it busted. And so I got this little keepsake lead crystal thing, and as soon as I put everything in the bag and paid for them, the bag exploded, and I dropped it, and it chipped. And I was pissed. I just, like, walked right off. Um... I got two of these. I don't. I thought they were cool. They're like Coca Cola, and then you put pictures in them, and like they stand up. I'm assuming that's what that's for. If not, I got two Sprite little coin purses or pouches. I don't know what they're what they're for, but they're really cool. Um, I got two games for Xbox 360. They work with Connect. I think I paid a dollar a piece for these. Um, this one's cool. It's got some kind of animal like thing where you like play with dogs and stuff and this one's wipe out i don't know for two dollars they're not really scratched it's a good little investment i think they're only worth maybe like six seven bucks a piece but um i got a gamestop official ds cartridge case for ds um and it has a stylus and everything in it that's pretty cool it only holds three games but hey eh, better than nothing um i got a lot of these i mean like a lot like at least 10 they're coca-cola ambassadors uh pens they're wherever I go, Coca-Cola brand. I carry it in my heart, my actions, and every boy I meet. I don't know. Coca-Cola is a big seller. I love it. Um, it's Americana to the T. 
Um, it's also important to know how Coca-Cola was started. That's part of that glass. I hope there's not any more on the floor. But that's for another video. I got this Sephora Texas bag at a garage sale for a dollar. I don't know if I'm going to sell it. I think I'm going to start trying Poshmark. Ooh, there's some Kleenexes in there. For real. All right, guys. This is nuts. Like, I just went back to the thrift store a few minutes ago, or up to the thrift store because I've been garage selling all morning. I got these. I got two of these speakers at a yard sale for five dollars. They're going for about twenty, thirty bucks plus, like fifteen dollars shipping on the eBay. These are my thrift store finds for today. We got a bunch of purses for a dollar ninety-one. The only reason I bought this was for the Hello Kitty. Super cool. Um, good condition, real good condition. Little clutch. This one is a no name. Just gonna throw it in the trash. This one looks like Kate Spade. But it's just junk. Going in the trash. I got Madagascar 2. Escape from Africa. I got that for my little girl. And then I paid 80 cents for Chespin Pokemon doll. Um, I'm to tell me one too. That's good. Uh, and then this little doggy says had Easter, but he's going to go in the trash. Same with this T.Y. doll. Ain't worth nothing. Maybe I'll give him to the kids at church. We'll see. I'm going to pause the video for a second and get some more stuff. All right, now check this thing out. It's an Emerson Color TV. It has the remote and everything. I turned it on. It took a few minutes, but it came on and it worked. I paid $2 for it. There are no soul comps. And if I can't sell this bad boy, I can play NES on it with a light gun. Because the new TVs don't work with the light gun. I got this old, definitely vintage Plano tackle box. It is Plano 5630. Oh, oh no, that's the, the address. Never mind. I don't know. It's got a lot of stuff in it. Tools, nails, fixings and such. But I just, I need, I need nails because, you know. Who doesn't? But it's cool for $2. And these, I got one, two, three Texas license plates. And these are all current, meaning like these are the license plates you get when you get a new car. They're all Lone Star State. My black and white star plates. I got another. Oh, I, got, I guess I got five of those. And then I got another vintage plate. I love the vintage ones. And the thing is, the six digit plates were the original ones, and then they went to seven digits in 20, 2009, and then the 2009 ones, they had to stop because we had so many cars. And by 2012, they started doing these seven digits. All right. I got this really cool pamphlet about gold from Goldline. It was actually in the trash can. The lady said I could have it. I haven't looked at it yet. And then she gave me this book, too, for free. Robert Carrier, Cooking for You pretty old. It's pretty cool. I don't think I'm going to sell it. Uh, let me pause the video real quick and get some more stuff. All right. This is a Coleman Polylite. Sounds kinky. Um, it's a cooler. I didn't even look inside of it. It smells all right. I ain't going to drink out of it. Somebody will. It's pretty cool for a dollar. Um, yeah, Wichita, Kansas. Uh, at the same garage sale, I got all these Andy Warhol um, wall hangers, Campbell's Soup, Marilyn Monroe, um, a zebra, and then the evil PepsiCo. Don't like it, don't love it, I hate it, but I like money. Um, I also got a giant box, I'm not going to show you everything, a giant box of cords, I think I paid a dollar for it, and there is a, a thermostat in here that's worth like 40 bucks. Um, some of these other computer cords, one of them is a laptop charger. They go to like the old iPod with the long flat thing. I'm going to make some good money out of this whenever I decide to go through it. But uh, again, let me pause the video and grab some more stuff. So I got this really nice digital stream DTX 99090D VHS player. It doesn't have a remote, but it works. It is huge. It is very heavy. It's very old. It's awesome. I hope I can get at least $100 out of it. If not, anything's better than nothing because I paid a dollar for it. Be right back. Okay, you've watched the video this long. Get ready to poop your pants. All right. 
at this one of the first yard sales, garage sales, whatever we went to, which stinks. I saw this and I said, are these for sale? And he said, yeah, make me an offer. It's an entire tub tote of bones. I thought they were cow skulls, but he, they said, he said they were like wild boar. Oh, this one's stuck up in there. I don't want it to get damaged. Um, this is a boar skull. You can tell because it has like the tusks, like a javelina or something like that. That's a cat or something. This was a snake. Um, ooh. It's a big old one right there. I've got so many. Like some kind of little cat. Um, I thought they were all cow skulls. They have to all be like boar or something because they have the tusks. Like, let me move the cat. Oh, there's turtles. There's turtles in here too. I don't know if I can sell these though. Some of them like turtle shells. There's more snake. That's so cool right here. Let me pause the video. Can I flip it? Boom. Look at all these bones. It's a huge tub of bones. But yeah, um, awesome finds today. I don't even know how much money I spent. Too much probably. Uh, am I missing anything? Double checking. I don't see. Uh -uh. I don't know. It's pretty cool. Um, but yeah, some of these bones, I'm pretty sure I can sell the, like, I don't think I can sell the turtle ones. I didn't even look through the box. I got this for $10. And I, I think some of those are bird bones. I can't sell any kind of bird anything. It's against a, against the law, I think. Yeah, these, uh, Taxidermy people pay good money for stuff like this, so I don't know. I got some good stuff, and uh, now I'm gonna upload this video and start listing it all. So I hope everyone's having a great Saturday, and uh, keep on going, keep on doing what you gotta do, and I'll see you next time.